rebuilt the entire chassis from scratch, ground up for new design. Uh, but this is the whole process. It takes, I mean, I've spent weeks doing, well, I most probably spent uh, a month or so on designing and building that chassis on the computer. Uh, the new one has taken me, we suppose want to tell me about the same time, about uh, a month or more, to be honest. Um, once it's refined to the point that it needs to be. Uh, I've also, this is only a mock-up, but I've also looked at the colouring of the parts as well, to give you an idea. So, the 3D, print, 3D resin printer has given me that ability to start going and making things like this, which is taking four sabers to the next level, which, with the old style of hand-making the chassis, I could never ever do, or even get close to doing. Which leads me to what we have, the main reason for this whole video now, uh, which is the new chassis. So, this is the new uh, chassis that I'm going to be using, and it is really, really nice. I've decided to make all my chassis in white, um, so it's a decision I'm going to take, rather than black. Uh, black has been a nightmare to try and print in, and with resin it has been horrendous, so the white is much easier to do, and I didn't want grey. Uh, but let me get, take you through this. So, the battery now fits and it is super snug and a beautiful fit inside the chassis. So the battery will then, the wires will come out, the negative will go straight into the switch, which is super easy to turn on and off compared to the old. That then runs around, all the way around the chassis, to the point where it goes directly into the negative point on the board. We go back and then you'll see that the positive will go straight into the chassis, it wraps around, it goes straight down all the way across, it then comes all the way over underneath these wires, and it then goes directly in to the positive on the board. Um, and I'll be honest, I, I really, really, am I in focus? Right, I really like, the, I really love, and I really like seeing these wires going around the side. I think it looks cool. So I wanted people to be able to see that, so that's why the protective covering is now clear. Um, and it just everything just works so much nicer. The speaker wires, uh, if you can see them, that is all you can see of the speaker wire, just those two little tiny wires coming into it, um, which is just so neat, so much, focus on me, so much better it was. Um, I've upgraded the housing for the speaker, so before the uh, the metal mesh would sit directly on the speaker, uh, and just as a, a note, uh, don't ever use your finger to push the metal mesh to push your chassis back inside, always use a plastic, always push the plastic to push your chassis, the chassis inside, um, and inside the uh, housing you can see there's these four feet so the metal mesh goes underneath these feet and is locked in place and the speaker sits directly on top of these four feet um, which means now that there's nothing touching the speaker the speaker is completely free of any obstructions or issues that could possibly occur uh, it also provides better sound so when I if I was just to turn on the old chassis uh, it wouldn't sound particularly great if I turn on one of these, is this the one that keeps turning itself on? Yeah, no. If I was to turn one of these on, God's sake, it never works when you want it to, does it? Come here. Force saber on. So, just as a chassis, this already sounds brilliant. So when it goes into the hill, that is amplified. It sounds even better than that in the open but before if I did that it would sound really really bad so it has also allowed me to enhance and upgrade the sound quality to a much better level than it was previously uh, the other great thing is because instead of being able to do two or four chassis in a day the old method where it's hand poured and set because you have to hand pour the liquid plastic, it then took an hour to two hours. Technically, it should take at least eight hours to set. Um, you know, you can demold it after two, two, three hours. 
Um, it's certainly been able to do that at a, at a very high cost. It now means I can do these at a very low cost in comparison and I can print nine off in one day. So I could print off 45 in a, in a week. Uh, so my plan is uh, I will be making the chassis installation free. It won't cost anything in the near future, so keep your eye out for that. Uh, but it also means that I can now produce these and make these um, without the, the huge cost overhead. Uh, I think that's basically everything, guys. So uh, thank you so much for coming to the channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, any, if there's anything you can do to help the company, as in like spread the word, you know, get it out there on social media, you know, please do. It, it will be a huge help. Uh, there's not many companies left that actually hand make uh, things and hand make the lightsabers from scratch. Uh, everything seems to be very much uh, mass produced lightsabers and it seems like there's huge amounts of companies out there selling the exact same one at different prices. Um, but it means that a lot of sales are going directly to these companies that just bring in the lightsabers. Uh, and the sales from things like myself are, are dropping uh, quite dramatically. So uh, anything you can do to help will be will be absolutely appreciated. Uh, and it allows me to carry on making these things. It allows me to carry on making new design of lightsabers and new chassis uh, reveals with crystal, those new crystal reveal chassis. Uh, so um, yeah, uh, that, that's it for me, I think. Uh, thank you for checking out the channel. Uh, don't forget, I do have a Patreon. And I will see you soon in the next video, which will most probably be the part four of Lord of the Rings. Goodbye.